Hi Oleg, how are you? Good, how are you? I am fine too. Yeah. So yeah, I hope so. I shared the video with you all. Um, so like yeah. Yeah, you could find the uh, link to the video in the chat right here. And then if you would like to follow along with the slides, we also have that. Yeah, it uh, it can also be possible. Yeah, let me share the screen uh, with you all. It can be possible. Yeah, it will be better. I think so. Uh, just let me know uh, my screen is visible or not. Just let okay. me know. You have to share the tab. Yeah, I shared the I shared it. I think so. Okay. Yeah, great. Cool. So um, yeah, thanks folks for joining uh, in today's talk. And in today's topic, we have opportunity and leveraging through communities. And I will talk talk about everything regarding everything you can say. So chill out on that end and let's get started. So first of all, who I am. So my name is Karthike Rawat. I'm a founder of my own open source and you can say as well as an inclusive community called Devs, Devs to com And I'm also a GSOC student this year under TensorFlow of uh, working under TensorFlow JS project. I am also recently a community dev intern at Turing to evangelize more on the community stuff and to get better for you. So yeah, I'm also an organizer at TFU Chandigarh, Azure Developer Community, KOG Durg, Mozilla Durg. Like I'm even a part of about 50 plus community as an organizer. So I'm, I'm pretty much a you can say community uh, community person you can say. In ambassadoring point, I'm also an uh, a beta Microsoft Lunch to ambassador and AngelX ambassador. And uh, I'm also a Postman student leader. So like uh, I'm pretty much a bit uh, active in community, you can say on that on that end. So like, we will talk about more on it, everything. So yeah. So actually, what is community? Everyone is keeping in mind. Even this talk talk is also for, for those who are non techy. So I will deep dive into everything specifically. So actually, what is community? Right. So community just term with the com common plus unity. We, if we got a unity over some common like-minded people, like if we, suppose I'm just taking an example, if you are like a football player, so obviously you go, it's it's not like that. You go to the like a cricket uh, cricket kind of fam. You go to obviously to the foot, uh, football community. So those people who have a common goal or common agenda or they have a same mind, specifically they have same like-mindedness like you. That's the called community, right? So that's the main you can say a general definition of community. You can say. So why to join community? Like why we need to join community? What just happened if we join the community? Okay. So uh, if, uh, if if possible, just uh, share your thing. Like after seeing this, what you can what you can do that over that. Okay. So actually, this is uh, this is specifically for uh, if you didn't know what it is. So it's actually um, right networking. So when we're talking about communities, networking is a, like a, a why why we need to network, folks. Like. Uh, how we get benefit from networking? Yeah, that's a simple question that is yeah, that in our mind. So networking helps a lot in different different aspect. It's one thing you can network with people. You can say they uh, they have a great experience than you in community, or like they are good in tech specifically or industry. You can specifically so networking with uh, networking with them. You will have a like a edge on every different different aspect. Can be experience. Uh, they can mentor you on on that. And like if you're going for like uh, I think so KubeCon is coming. So, or like you are seeing this, the DEF CON, that's also, also a place to network. I think so there's another tab you see a networking kind of thing. So that's a part of it. When we're talking about tech conferences and like many uh, sessions in community, networking is a, uh, you can say key role to play. Why it is really, really important? Because when we're talking about community, community is nothing like specifically focus on like to gain something from, but just network with that, have a connection with them. Uh, it can be possible. You can collaborate in some project or product. It can be in, in can be a, in particular startup or in any hackathon. Um, it can be more on focusing on the, you can just not related to only like student just networking with the higher people. It can be also possible there. Uh, I'm a developer, but I'm, uh, you can say I'm not good with public speaking. So I can network with the public speaker specifically. Those are good in speaking. It can be possible. I'm very good at technology, but I'm not able to share as well. So for, for that particular aspect, I network with those people who are like good with public speaking. Uh, I can share my technological, uh, you can say knowledge over that. Like they didn't know about uh, some of uh, some what you can say about technology. So I can share about that. So that's the power of networking. You can say for like there is many more to come in networking, but yeah. So how to get uh, like specifically I'm talking about tech conferences. 
So this is that great tech conference, DevCon. You can say KubeCon, and like many, 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 many join. You can say come over there. So you can join tech conference in that specifically. Yep. And what 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 else we can do? Yeah. So we have event session. So if you've been a part of any community, so obviously if that community is somewhat active and inclusive, obviously they're guaranteed our events and session will be there. Guaranteed, totally guaranteed. There will be events and session over there. Okay, it can be possible. Uh, the topic that particular event or session is based on you are uh, you are not familiar with. Okay, cool. It's it's okay to didn't uh, didn't get that particular topic. But the main thing is network with those people who just uh, joined that event. It can be your same knowledge, like they didn't know anything about that particular topic. Let's take an example. I'm just taking an example. There is a session going on, or maybe Golang. Suppose I'm taking an example, or maybe Kubernetes. You didn't, you didn't know about any Kubernetes. You didn't even heard of what is Kubernetes. I'm taking an example. So, like, even it's not like that. Uh, it's only you who didn't understand. There are many people who came for a session to understand that stuff. Like, if they know why they came to the session, that's the whole point of concern. Or it can be possible there are some people who know a little bit about Kubernetes kind of thing or that particular topic. So it will be helpful for you. You also network with uh, those four. It can be possible. You can collaborate in some, maybe in hackathon. It can be, maybe uh, you can start your startup with that, that co-founder. Also, you got a co-founder with there. So that's the power of networking folks. Yeah. Now, platform and community where you can find, actually when we say networking, so yeah, we know uh, we go for community, but what are the platform or you can say, what are the program that we can a part of it so that we can network with folks and upskill are basically upskill our skills specifically yeah so that's the point so what are we having and how these platform focusing on opportunities and leverage yourself leveraging it can be skills it can be hard skills it can be soft skill but truly what i believe there is no hard skill soft skill it's just skills you have to just uh take it as a like a, you can say interest and build it build up with okay so what are the platform so one of the most one of the most famous program out there is meetup.com you can connect with awesome folks out there you can be a part of many many programs uh, if we're talking about students like right now i am a final year student so i'm talking more on it so yes microsoft lunch student ambassador is a great program you can be in a part of community also if you if you're not a student it's okay you can you can also be in a program manager like you can also help the student if you are really interested to help the students then you can become a program manager. You can also get in like an internship over there if you want to like just to just to stimulate everything, just to manage the like students are getting proper content or not. They're getting a proper sessions or not because in in these programs, they are the main motive of this program are to upskill the students or upskill the professionals. You can be in also an angel like amb angel like ambassador. You can be a part of angel like community. Angel like mostly focuses on hackathon or maybe entrepreneurship or like many kind of focus on the event. So you can be also a program manager over there. DSC. Uh, I'm talking more particularly on uh, like students right now, but like GDS is also a great part to enhance your skill because you get resources from Google on how to how to like it can be possible. You heard of about cloud google cloud but you didn't know how to use it or how to use that service or you know about firebase but you didn't know about how to use it so that's why you can that community can play a bigger role to you developer uh, developer circles from google facebook it's a professional uh, you can say professional club you can say if you if you are lead at uh, uh, facebook you can got a great great aspect of resources from facebook you can demonstrate you can be a program lead you can also be in a lead of that particular chapter that you're leading so that it can also enhance your soft skill also how to take a leadership how to manage the stuffs and like that github campus expert one of the most prestigious program out there for specifically for you can say when, when we're talking about student community so campus expert provides so much awesome things for you recently git kraken ambassador program is also started for same thing uh, do if you are really really active in gear like if you are using git kraken and if you if you want to evangelize in terms of in terms of community you can you want to help the students so that's the program hack club is also a great thing if, if you're thinking you can you uh, you can there is no hack club in your region and you want to bring out there you can same with gdg gdg is also another awesome uh, program uh, mostly for the professionals uh, these are the uh, these are the pro it's not a program you are leading a you can say a particular region but also gdg provides so many resources you can be a part of it it can be possible you can start your own startup because gdg provides so much resource it can be cloud cloud and many more up to that okay so it's not like that only and these are some you can see some major platform programs you can look into it okay 
now why do join open source community like first of all when we talking about open source like we know why to join community but what is open source actually so open source is nothing else when we just i'm just splitting the word open plus source it means a source code of a project or product which is open as simple as it like you can if you if you thinking uh, in that particular project or product if you have any issues or bugs kind of thing so if you uh, if you think you can resolve that bugs and uh, bugs or specifically that that's part of player contribution so that we call open source he, when we stated our term when linus tower says like in open source you have an ability to change the change the uh, scheme you can say so that's what the power of open source like when we try when we specifically focus on prior you can say proprietary software so they are paid and they can't be like open source but when we talk about open source open source play a really really major bigger impact over it in a lot of a lot of people it can be possible like when you're talking about open source open source helps you to get over that skills in a in a in a different different manner it can not only focusing on the same thing but it can be focus on maybe you can start writing uh, you can say uh, start testing uh, testing specifically suits or you can start writing testing suits start writing documentation update on documentation uh, it can be also possible you can add some features over it you can be in a part of that community and try to focus more on it so yeah that's the main you can say basically open source nothing else it's just a source code which is open to uh, and you can add it over it okay so yeah if uh, in the chat if those who are listening if they know what is symbol uh, what is symbol it because like many people didn't know about it but i more focusedly talk about more on this only so those who didn't know about what this symbols mean actually this means simple like this that is diversity and inclusion now why diversity inclusion like in the community what's the like what's the use of diversity inclusion it doesn't matter like kind of thing so like uh, there are many people are saying kind of thing so why it is important like diversity and inclusion like what is a you like uh, we heard of a like, like in a larger base of it like diversity inclusion is really really important but now i am talk about why it is important why it is needed okay so let's see this so why it is important so now the main scene is i am taking an example let's take an example take one group which have inclusive group when we talking about inclusive let's take an example i have five people in both team in only one kind of people suppose it takes male suppose i'm taking an example uh, only one kind of people group have uh, have only contain like male male gender suppose and in inclusive group suppose i am taking uh, one male one female true transgender or maybe other from lgbt community taking an example and now suppose um these two teams are in the startup or any company i'm just taking an example okay and they given a problem to solve it so when we uh, now the concept came into a, a very very crucial play folks just listen to it carefully in psychology if we talk about gender the focus of uh, when we when we say like just give me the solution of that particular so the solution of that particular like suppose i'm taking an example of male so they will find a one us only this kind of category of solution they didn't go to the you can say female or trans gender side because the psychologist stated that if we talking about specifically psychologies of different gender they they have a another you can say special kind of repeat it's not like that male didn't give a proper answer but now it is just an example take an example if we talking about google so when they say dsa is really really important because they made the project they need to improve their performance now the scene is that when we saying like why why there's a team it is going on and why we are talking about more on it so that's a concept like when we say diversity and inclusion that's totally focuses on how a person can give a idea okay now the ideology is focusing on the gender basis that, that psychology that what i explain now this is the power of it like if the if the people if the group is not inclusive then there is only one kind of category of solution will you will you get okay but when we talking about inclusive group we get different different varieties of colors of solution it can be possible uh, maybe a transgender can give or maybe a transgender can give a better solution as compared to male or female or maybe lgbt community or it can be possible lgb community lgb community kind of member can give us some better better solution as compared to transgender or like any any other community like male and female so that's the power of diversity inclusion now my main thing we came here to diversity but what the inclusion it's not like that bringing all over the table and just uh, only male or or only female is talking when you're talking about inclusion everyone has a right to say something because uh, i see uh, in a couple of year in 10 to 20 years we see 
like this a kind of uh, when we say it's like a hard truth but but male depress the women's and other genders and we are like a dominancy in that so that makes the other folks i see in my community also even though i i am proud to say that in my community maximum core members are from are from female gender specifically but the point is they are still like a, a very in a downment they can't say anything because they are afraid of it because if they say something maybe uh, they appeal like it's kind of a wrong thing so we need to change that diversity include diversity is good we are bringing diversity but inclusion is uh, inclusion is like that on on the table when everyone is here everyone has a right to do or like as a leader you have a responsibility to make them feel so secure or like it's so easy so that they can share their idea if they didn't share the idea how we can get a proper you can say performance based issue uh, solution it can be possible and we talking about in that example so that's the power of power when we saying that's the power of inclu- uh, diversity and inclusion so also there is one more prioritized thing like di- there should not be any discrimination that's what diversity inclusion but let's see the psychology concept is so much cool right like when we talking about diversity inclusion it can also be possible we get a proper better idea so why going like discrimination is like a totally totally up on point thing we really respect on everyone but when we talking about also scalability and when we talking about solution from the start of our company that's also great a great point of view i think so so this is the one point i think so i just made it over here now the open source community yeah so now the open source community that we can talk over it and like uh, like i am feel very privileged to share that like my community that is developer student community is one of that community uh, who promote open source inclusiveness and diversity and another but like everyone knows this community adi hub community is one of the best community i've ever met like i met adi hub recently you can say in the past year uh, du- during major league hacking local hack they learn we collaborate with each other so that's a power of open source community our agenda is not just to create the lump sum of people we are here for we are just focusing on first community first collaboration then code we are focusing on to help you other uh, folks it's not like that when we when we talking about open source community how you can leverage those thing networking these are the community because these are the here are the people who are here to help you others that's the focus of this community and i feel privileged to say that like adi hub is one like when we talking about adi hub or when you talking about adi i personally met him and that one of the humble humble guy i ever met totally i'm totally i'm saying this folks so focus on that also like why why to be so why to be humble when we talking about community leader if you're a community leader you have to be you have to be that kind of thing you have to be not restlessness just take to understand the whole point of view of every person or every member of your community and there are many more classroom community is doing so much awesome by kunal kushwaha kunal kushwaha is one of the prominent open source you can say influencer in india who is just trying to promoting open source in a in a large basis it can uh, fo- focusing on the cnc that what i am wearing you can see on that end cloud net stuff so he trying to promote more on that end yeah adi hub uh, or developer student community equi code classroom community and many more there are many more like i can't like uh, also dev script also doing good so there are many communities out there who are helping you i just want you just want to connect with them it can be on the meetup group it can be on discord it can be on their website so try to join over that folks yeah now how to leverage your skill through community now the main topic that what we have to discuss over this yeah first of all when you talking about open source community or any community there should be an github organization join that yeah join that it can also be possible if you facing any issue try to drop them in their discord or slack server that also cool like try to join in uh, when i'm talking about open source community they are very inclusive they are really welcoming in nature so try to tag you can say a moderator in discord like i did, i am new here can you tell me how to get started with it can be you can start if you if you didn't get a proper uh, welcome you can say you can start with the, in the introduction channel it can be in the slack it can be in the discord channel so yeah that should be a you can, uh, because everyone get their uh, a kind of persona of your like in which tech stack you are working or why in which area you are interested in which what are your hobbies so like it's just kind of a random kind of thing after joining obviously when we talking about why start contributing is not only focus on it try to contribute in open source project if you are helping in a community a single folk only that's also a community com- contribution that is also a big community contribution if you are helping a, a new folk who are joining like you uh, you have been a look at, suppose you have been a, a month in that particular community you know how to get started with everything so you can help other folk who are joining new 
it can be possible uh, directly don't dm anyone try to be public do uh, learn public that what the focus of open source try to do many people not doing that that's uh, like a very wrong perception i can say on that end but my my own agenda is like that try to be we try to with them so that uh, or try to be try to do everything in public it will also enhance your networking and also enhance your public profile it can be possible you can make a you can say public influencer in open source community it can be possible in communities too so that's that's a power that's a power of our community and we're talking about open source community so start contributing it can it can it can not, not only focusing on a particular thing but in, in a diverse kind of thing yep so now uh, start contributing and obviously when we're talking about open source so read documentation in a very good manner so that you can get start with it so that's the like basic power of open source when we're talking about yep yep that's a great good one ask your doubt if you are working on issue works or features like it can be possible you can go to, you read the whole documentation and when you start working on any issue or any bug and you think that it can be one of the feature that should be added in that project so it can also be taken as you can create an issue and you, you can work on that uh, on your feature so if you have any doubt regarding anything you can ask it out in the github discussion github is also got a new feature called github discussion you can create a team um it con zero uh, it's not like that you have to create a, every time a team but yeah it there should be a github discussion feature so you can ask over it like uh, i have this doubt and if no one is like answering or like not you are not getting a proper answer maybe there so you can do that you can go to the discord server or slack server tag the moderator and ask like i am working on this issue and facing him this this kind of issue even though it's like a very lame question do us that's that that's why when we seeing community leaders and community moderator are here to help you out so it will make everything a process a very smooth process so that's the you can say uh, beauty of open source open source community join their monthly call community call uh, to network with people when we talking about adi hub and our community we are more focusing on yeah monthly call community call is there but cross community call that's the like power that's what we say when we talking about open source community when we say open source community it more precisely work on how and how collaboratively work so cross community call like uh, my community is from india adi hub is from maybe uh, like when we say uk so we are collaborating with each other and it's not like when we say a monthly community call so you only meet only that particular community member it can be possible when we doing cross community call it is helping other folks also to uh, learn new thing to under to meet new folks it can be also possibility uh, suppose in my community there is no maybe a maybe a hiring manager or any uh, any medical uh, like kind of opportunity stuff but it can when we doing cross community and if you are if you have got that skill and it can be possible in other community maybe some hiring manager is there as a community member and he uh, he, uh, he can he or she can see a uh, ceo work on that by while, while doing a contribution in in some and in that particular community so that enhance your opportunity also you are you are leveraging your public profile uh, and also upskilling that so that's the power that's the power of open source community and when we talking about how how you can get leverage through community yeah so there is one more important part of it be active and share your work as i have saying do everything in public learn in public many times adi jord that who again i'm saying who is a github star of the year kunal kushwaha who is an cnc ambassador and open source ambassador you can say so he is doing uh, they are doing more focus on try to do everything in public when we talking about like linkedin is for specifically professional you also been on linkedin but i will try to prefer you say to be on try to be on active on twitter because twitter is a you can say developers linkedin yeah that's that's what we call in developer communities like so try to be active if you're doing if you contributing in something or like if you if you done nothing like in in this day like suppose you're taking the uh, you are working on some particular open source project or just to understand that documentation if you do nothing in coding form no worry just write tweet tweet about it or you can say tag me or like any community folk out there like i just done i just read this whole documentation of this project and maybe i will start contributing in the next day so that's the power that you can because uh, because seeing that Uh, the other other specifically the people who got into it they got a intuition about it yeah this person know this person doing in this particular like it can be possible the, how uh, how any one guess like you are working in that particular project obviously you have to publicize it you have to marketize it you are you are your own product you have to sell sell it so that's the that's that's why when we came into social media yeah social media have different different aspect but 
but take it as a positive end you will totally enhance the public profile also and your career also i am totally guaranteed over that so try to be active in twitter and linkedin if you're seeing this session take a screenshot out of it tag me tag devcon tag oleg over it and yeah that's the cool that's the total that you are sharing our insights about this car this session so many people what they do they just do the certification and just paste it in the linkedin or twitter like i am done this certification it's not like that if you are if you are posting certificate also try to make some pointers over it like what are the insight that i got from the that particular certificate it can be possible like suppose i am doing an azure fundamental uh, maybe certification so i just po posted like that so there is no no one will see it if you if you make a thread over it can be possible you can make a thread in twitter or it can be thread over linkedin uh, to tell each and everything like this 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 are the topic that what i understood and these are how how my test will go so you can share on that basis so that everyone can got get started with also also blogs and podcast and video video content is also great if you are doing content creation that's also another level of contribution in community you are contributing a lot to the community so you can do that try to make it every free so that those people who didn't get an access over it so they can do that stuff so that's the it's not like that you are helping though those people or those folks you are helping you because your soft skill are improving your speaking skill are improving your networks are improving it can also be possible someone someone dm you like thanks uh, thanks folks for the thanks folks for that content i i i hired in that particular i hired in that particular startup or company due to that video so that's that's the power of contribution and it's not like it will not help you it you can post this as any publicize it like the i i help this person kind of thing it's not everyone is saying it's kind of flexing or bragging it's not bragging it's just fact you are you have just done that work so you can show it in public that's the same concept that every every community are trying to focus on so try to be humble be inclusive and try to be last but not the least i am just adding some meme kind of thing uh me but in telling about this language created 5 years ago but recruiter explaining why then 10 uh, 10 year experience uh, language for that job so that's the basically a kubernetes kind of a meme if you see kubernetes so like uh, kubernetes are about maybe a 5 to 10 year but that but that person is want experience of 20 20 10 to 20 years so that's a totally lame and say with them uh, when we talking about developer then second meme is like that we are just taking on a micro uh, taking a resource from some other micro service and blend into one project and make it on a hackathon so that's the uh, that's the kind of a meme you can over it and uh, Yeah, if you want, you can connect me over here. My all the con, uh, you can say all common name is Kerry Cool Dude. Uh, you can take a screenshot out of it if you want to tag me in this session. If you take any screenshot, do tag me, share your learnings, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the you can say uh, stream. You can say yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kartike. This is an awesome talk. Um, if anyone has any Thanks, questions, Elena. you can direct them in the Q and A. Um, we'll also have a breakout room where you can go and talk with Cardike after this. Um, yep. I wish I really wish that I could join, but I have to uh, man this post. Um, I guess one of the questions that I wanted to ask is, what is your policy on posting on LinkedIn? Yeah, policy. Um, I. Um... like for me it's not like <laughs> i maybe a uh, maybe a uh, another kind of wording i will say on that linkedin is good but uh, like it can also for many folks are kind of fomo kind of thing because the uh, people are sharing obviously they are sharing their uh, achievements over there so many people got fomo kind of thing for me it's okay to be on linkedin but i will say try to be on twitter because twit uh, many people think like twitter is very very kind of a, a hate kind of thing in twitter no it's not like that because twitter has on hit feeds kind of thing if you make if you connect with folks who are really really in community and they will not create hate they will try to promote you in terms of like opportunities and leveraging you through communities so twitter is on another you can say base of community twitter is is a community i will say because if you follow particular people your feed will come over that also so yeah that's what my point of view on that Um now I wanted to ask a question that I think um probably a lot of people face uh, what's like the biggest um uh, like what can you do to get over your fear of um the initial like wanting to reach out Yep so um yeah there's some misconception like many people what they do if they want a referral from a company or for a particular company employee so he he directly uh, link can make a connection directly dm that particular person uh, like i want the i i am doing this this kind of thing so don't do that 
uh, just take a time, take a month to have a talk with that particular person so that you can get a connection and they know about everything about you so that like that's the same concept. If you're sharing your work public, that's what I say, learn in public because many people are not doing because they are like a very very kind of a maybe loose kind of thing maybe they are afraid of like sharing all the learnings out in public maybe or maybe kind of a competitor kind of thing because in community there is no competition there is only collaboration you collaborate with each other work on a project maybe a collaborate in hackathon so that's the power of it so try to be uh, more on like take an easy uh, try to connect with folks take a month or two months so that they can share they can see your work what you are doing in community or what you're doing your internships kind of thing and what you have done in open so have you contributed in like a big big project like i'm contributing tensorflow so have you contributed in kind of thing so recruiter will come to you only you will not go to the recruiter kind of thing recruiter come to you that's what same thing happened with me i've just i've uh, you can say contributing in about past two years i didn't do an internship after GSOC, I uh, I did, I get a community dev role at uh, you can say in uh, Turing. So I didn't get, go to there. They come to me. Just do contributing to community. Everything come come in your place. That's what I will say. If there was one thing that people can come away from this talk knowing, what would it be? Uh, can you repeat it, Oleg? Sorry. If there's one single thing that you could have people come away from this talk knowing, what would that be? Okay, so. I will say, don't do. Um, I, I'm this thing. I'm repeating the same thing. But I'm saying, do not do competition. Like, be a healthy competition, but try to be collaborative. Be humble. Be collaborate with any kind of like it can be possible. Like you didn't get a proper kind of friend circle. Maybe you want to collaborate, but you didn't get a proper circle. So Twitter is your area, or you can say Discord. You do join great uh, best communities out there. Like it can be mine community, Eddie Jord, who is the GitHub star of the year who are trying to more focus on inclusiveness. We are working a lot over the inclusiveness only. So do join their community. It can be also possible you are from uh, like, like I am from India, uh, like uh, or like from some another country, but we have a, like a like-mindedness uh, in particular topic. So we can collaborate with each other and we can learn each other. It can be also possible Oleg and me, maybe we can collaborate with on a kind of startup. We can start our own startup. It can be possible on that end. So it's not like that you have to be collaborate with some or some folks who are just uh, nearby you it can be it can be possible and i am not going to the hater end but it can be possible some folks uh, around you very very competitive so they are very hater kind of thing if you achieve something or like in a smaller amount so they get hit or they they spread hate specifically so that's okay you will get hit but the communities are here do join communities they will help you out in every aspect and uh, it can be also possible do dm me if you want if if i get time i can collaborate with you in any hackathon and we can do some stuff on that project